In this video, we migrate AVD Session Host from the legacy Microsoft Monitoring Agent to the new Azure Monitor Agent for AVD Insights. In my last video, we deployed a new Log Analytics workspace and configured AVD Insights on a host pool with the new Azure Monitor Agent. But what if you already have AVD Insights in place with the legacy Microsoft Monitor Agent? Coming up, we go over options in the process for migrating to the new Azure Monitor Agent. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. That helps grow this channel and is greatly appreciated. Click the bell icon for notifications of new content and check out my courses on AVD, Windows 365, and hybrid identities with Windows AD and Enter ID on udemy.com. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it. The goal of this video is to migrate session hosts that send data to AVD Insights from the old Log Analytics Agent, sometimes called the Microsoft Monitoring Agent, or MMA, to the new Azure Monitor Agent. If you need to do a new AVD Insights install, check out my last video. There are a few ways to migrate the agents. We're going to outline two options in this video. We can do an agent cutover or a workspace migration. The option you choose depends on your tolerance for a gap in AVD Insights data and how cost adverse your organization is. Let's dig into the options. With the cutover, we continue sending data to the same Log Analytics workspace. We create a new data collection rule, then remove the old agent from the session host in the host pool, then add the new Azure Monitor agent. With this option, we send data to the same workspace, but there'll be a gap in data between when the old agent was removed and the new agent is added. Order is important. We don't want to have both agents sending the same data to the workspace. This doubles the amount of data collected and the cost and could skew the reporting. It's better to have a gap in data collection than an overlap with this migration method. Keep in mind that both agents send the same event log and performance data to the same workspace table. We don't want to send it twice. The next is the log analytics workspace migration. With this option, we configure the new Azure Monitor agent to use a second log analytics workspace. It is possible to run both agents on the same session host. This option doesn't have a gap in data collection and you can run them in parallel until you're ready to remove the legacy agent. The downside is double the cost as the same data is sent to two workspaces. Also, you have to query two different workspaces. Coming up, we're gonna start by reviewing the Azure Monitor Agent Migration Helper. This tool lets us discover agents we need to migrate and track the progress. Then we'll do an agent cutover on the host pool. The first step in this process is to create a data collection rule for AVD Insights. Then we remove the legacy agent and add the new Azure Monitor agent. There's no demo for the second option, sending data to two Log Analytics workspaces, one with the legacy agent and one with the Azure Monitor agent. If that's the path you're gonna take, check out my previous videos on configuring the new Azure Monitor agent. That video covers the steps to create a new workspace and onboard session host with the new agent. The Azure Monitor agent can run in parallel with a legacy agent. But stick around to the end where we go over how to stop all log analytics data collection from the legacy agent on a workspace. This is helpful for when you decide to remove data collection for that legacy log analytics workspace. Let's jump into the portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. First up, let's review the AMA migration helper. From the portal, search for monitor. We'll open monitor. Go to workbooks. Scroll down to Azure Monitor Essentials. And from Azure Monitor Essentials, select AMA migration helper. This gives us visibility into the agent status of the environment. If we scroll down, it shows one computer and one of my subscriptions has both agents, six have the older MMA agent, and two ARC-enabled servers have the AMA agent only. Then it shows a mix of the different agent types. There's more information on the workspaces, Azure VMs and VM scale sets, ARC-enabled servers, and hybrid without ARC. For this example, the subscription overview shows the information 
we can use to track the migration process. Next, we need to configure the data the session host will send to Log Analytics. Items like disk free space, CPU and RAM statistics, and event log information. That's configured at the workspace for legacy AVD insights. For the new AMA agent, we'll use a data collection rule. We did this in a previous video, but we'll run through it again here. To configure the data collection rule, we'll go back to Azure Virtual Desktop, and we'll open our host pool. And from here, we'll go to Insights, not Insights Legacy. Let's open the configuration workbook. For this example, since we've already onboarded for the previous Log Analytics agent, our host pool and our workspace are already configured to send data to Log Analytics. If there was any issue with data collection, it would show up here. And the configuration workbook would give us an opportunity to fix it. But for this example, it's in place, so let's go to Session Host Data Settings. And because we haven't onboarded the new agent, none of this is configured. We need to create the new data collection rule. Let's select our workspace destination. And for the data collection rule resource group, we'll leave that as the same as the log analytics workspace. We'll create the data collection rule and deploy. That finished, let's refresh. It took a couple of refreshes, but now it shows our data collection rule. And if we search for data collection rules, there it is. We can see the data collection rule that was just created. And we can also view the data sources. This is the data that the new AMA agent will send to Log Analytics. We can go through and view each if we want to. Okay, that looks good. Next, we wanna remove the legacy agent before adding the new to avoid any duplication data going to that workspace. As mentioned earlier, if you can't have a disruption in log collection, consider setting up a second log analytics workspace for the new agent and leaving the legacy in place until you're ready to end legacy data collection. To remove the old agent, go to the log analytics workspace We'll open the workspace and under classic, go to virtual machines. And for this example, we'll switch the filter to only show this workspace. So now we're only viewing computers connected to this workspace. It looks like I have six connected to this workspace. That's with the legacy MMA agent or the legacy log analytics agent. For this example, we're only working with AVD Insights 0 and AVD Insights 1. To remove the legacy agent and legacy data collection, we'll just simply open one and click Disconnect. We'll do that to the second. That's going to take a minute to finish. And we can change the filter to Disconnecting. There we go. Or we could change it to all status and filter by name. Now we can watch the progress. One thing to note, the VM does have to be on to do this. If it's powered off, there's no way Azure can remove the legacy log analytics client. Now it's showing not connected. Removing these through the portal may not work for large environments. There's an MMA discovery and removal tool that's used to find and remove the legacy agents. This is a PowerShell based tool. There's a link in the description below that outlines the steps to download and run the discovery and removal tool. Now these two session hosts are not sending any data to the workspace. Let's fix that. Next, we'll configure a session host to send data to Log Analytics with the new Azure Monitor agent. To do that, we'll go back to AVD. We'll open our host pool. This time we'll go into Insights, not Insights Legacy, and open the configuration workbook. And just like before, the host pool and workspace are showing connected. 
Let's go to session host data settings. And as you move into here, make sure you're setting the workspace destination. It's showing the data collection rule we set up previously. If we scroll down, we have to select that data collection rule. Here it shows two session hosts do not have the correct data collection rule associated. In order for them to send data, they have to be associated with the data collection rule, and we have to install the agent. So let's do the association first. You simply deploy, and that will create the association. Let's refresh. That's good. Now it's showing that there's no missing associations. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we have two session hosts that are missing the Azure Monitor extension, so we'll add that next. And again, simply deploy. We'll give that a minute to finish. All right, that finished. Let's refresh. The next thing we have to do is enable the managed identities on the session host. And just like the other two steps, we simply add system managed identities. Click it again to deploy. We'll give it a minute to finish. That finished, let's refresh. That all looks good. We've now onboarded our session host to the new AMA agent. And if we go back to our host pool, insights, This is the new AVD Insights using the AMA agent, and we're showing data. If we go to host performance, we can see it's already collecting some data. Next, we're gonna stop all legacy data collection going to a log analytics workspace. For those of you who have both the legacy and the new log analytics workspaces running, eventually you'll wanna stop data collection for that legacy agent. Or maybe you just want to stop all data collection from the legacy agents before you're able to actually uninstall them all. This is fairly easy to do. You can stop all data from the legacy agent by going to the workspace. We'll open the workspace. Go to legacy agent management under classic. This is where the legacy agent data collection is set. With the legacy agent, it was set at the workspace. So in this example, any Windows computer connected to this with that legacy agent would collect all of the event logs shown on the screen. With the new agent, we use the data collection rule instead. So in order to stop all of our legacy agents from sending this data to the workspace, we simply delete these data collection items. We'll apply. Let's go to Windows Performance Counters, and we'll do the same. And apply. Verify that all the logs were removed by exiting the legacy agent's management and going back, or refresh the browser. I had to re-delete a couple items after I thought they were gone. Also, this change is not instantaneous. It could take some time for the client to pick up the new settings and stop sending data. Keep in mind that this will stop all data collection. If you have other non-AVD Insights clients sending event log or performance data with the legacy agent, that will stop also. If you're not sure, check out the AMA migration helper tool we went over earlier. The alternative is to remove the agent from each VM. We went over how to do that earlier in this video also. That is how to migrate from the legacy log analytics agent to the new Azure Monitor agent for AVD Insights with a single log analytics workspace. I hope that helps you migrate from the legacy Microsoft Monitor Agent to the new Azure Monitor Agent. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.